Derek Chisora, it's confirmed today, he will make his return to the ring on February the 8th in Manchester. This is, well, it, it should be the penultimate fight of his career. They're calling it the last dance. Well, certainly the last dance in the UK and in Manchester because Chisora last year said that he would have his final three professional fights, the first one of which would be in the O2, which he did and won. Quite impressively, I have to say, I didn't think he'd beat Joe Joyce, but I always proved me wrong. He's having this one in Manchester, and then his final fight will be in his native Zimbabwe to go out on his terms, so to speak. Now, I'm not going to go in too deep into this. I did feel as though we should have called it a day after Joe Joyce thought it was a great way to bow out, but he's carrying on. So, look, all I can do is give my opinion. I think he should have went out on a high in that fight, but look, he's going to carry on. Now, about this time last week, we were hearing reports that the opponent was going to be Jarrell Miller. And I looked at that and I thought, you know what? Stylistically, that's actually not a bad fight. Like, that could be a real good little scrap. Be high volume. I'd favour Jarrell Miller to win. I would. I would worry a little bit about Trezor's health because Miller is not a devastating puncher. Not really. He has... Look, I'm sure I wouldn't like to get hit by him, <laughs> to be honest, which I wouldn't like that at all. But I'm sure he hits harder than the average guy, but it's not devastating. They're all arm punches. He doesn't hit as hard as his weight would suggest. So that, to me, was going to be a long, drawn-out affair. And I just thought, you know, at this stage in Chisora's career, he's not sounding the best. That might not be good. But over the last 24 hours, Jarrell Miller himself confirmed that he would not, in fact, be the, po be the opponent. Instead, we got the announcement today that this fight, and just on a side note, the card is actually, as is normally the case these days with Frank Warren UK shows, it's not just that he has a big main event. He also has a decent enough undercard, and he has Willie Hutchinson back in action. In there against Zach Parker. Now, before I talk about Chisora and, and his opponent, I'll just give my two cents very briefly on Hutchinson versus Parker. I like the fight. I think Willie Hutchinson will win, personally. He should, and he probably will win. Zach Parker has not looked he hasn't looked good in a long time and he's really a super middleweight he should not be up at light heavyweight no way no way in hell should he be at light heavyweight but you know it could be a decent scrap while it lasts but i'd favor willie hutchinson very heavily in that fight in terms of chisora it was announced that his opponent will be swedish heavyweight contender although he is based in new york otto valian now otto valian he's 34 years old i actually thought he was i don't know why but i thought he was a bit younger than that Otto Valian, 27-2, the two losses, the first loss was a points loss in which he cut Tyson Fury very badly and, you know, he didn't win the fight, he wasn't, I don't think, it was, it was competitive, but he, did, he wasn't in with a prayer of winning, and I mean that in a legit way, he wasn't in with a prayer of winning, but he was competitive, he was game, and that was a much fresher Tyson Fury as well. He gave a very good account of himself, but he did kind of live off that fight a little bit too much. I guess his best win is probably Dominic Brazil. It's probably that genuine that might even be his best win or maybe yeah i'd say dominic brazil is probably his best win he kind of lived off that fight a little bit too much he fought anthony joshua in december time last year and in the build-up to that fight was really if you remember him in interviews he was really talking a lot about oh joshua's mind state joshua's mind state joshua's mind state this that and the other it's almost like he was really relying on joshua being mentally shot in order for him to win and joshua i don't think ever got over the ruiz loss the Usyk defeat compounded it, but Anthony Joshua handled Otto Valin and Sparrow several times. So no matter what way he was mentally, he was he would have went into that fight knowing I've got this guy's number. He, he he's not going to trouble me, and he didn't. And Otto Valin quit in the fifth round. He took a beat. He didn't go down to his credit. He didn't go down. Showed a decent enough chin, but yeah, he took a beating in there. In fact, actually, scratch what I said about uh, Brazil at heavyweight. I'd take a CF. And that was a horrible fight. Gassiev is probably Otto Valin's best win. He has had a comeback fight since the Anthony Joshua loss. That was in Atlantic City uh, against a heavyweight who was 20 and 4. All of his knock all of his losses have been knockout losses. And forgive me, he <laughs> had to. I'm sorry. I just seen. I just seen. I just seen what this guy's alias is. Holy crap! This guy. This guy's nickname is Godzilla the Secret. Uh, okay. And uh, Otto Valine knocked him out in a, in a round. Just such a round. Why? All right. Uh, Otto Valine knocked him out in a round. 
So that's the only fight he's had since that Anthony Joshua loss. And he's going in there against Derek Chisora. Now, listen, I don't think Otto Valian on paper will be as entertaining a fight as the Jarrell Miller fight would have been. I don't. Otto Valian is not the most aggressive heavyweight you'll ever see. He can move a little bit. Yeah, how much has he got left in the tank after that Joshua fight where he genuinely, he really didn't look good in that fight at all. It's not just the fact that Joshua had his number. He really didn't look good at all in that fight. He didn't look good against Gassiev either. You know, against Gassiev looked, even though Gassiev was significantly lighter than he had been for a couple of his heavyweight fights, he looked really, like, Gassiev's never been the most fleet-footed fighter, even a cruiserweight. He's always been a bit flat-footed, but he looked really, looked particularly terrible in that respect of fight. And Valian really didn't do much. He moved around, but he didn't, didn't do a great deal. He did buzz Gassiev, if I remember, slightly in one of the rounds. Uh, they both went to throw a shot, and Gassiev came off the worst. But he didn't look particularly good in that fight either. So how much does Valian at this stage in his career have left in the tank? Against Chisora, I would suspect, and again, I, I was proven wrong against Joe Joyce, I suspect he'll have enough to deal with Chisora. I suspect. He's never been known as a puncher out of a lane. Never. I mean, he, again, he got a knockout in his last fight, but against the seat Godzilla, the secret. There you go. That's what we call him. Yeah, I look, it. I doubt that he'll have the power to hurt Derek Chisora, uh, but I do think he will. Even though Chisora can old man fighters, I think that's what Otto Valine will do. He'll just old man him. He'll just move around the ring, be a bit negative, put shot Derek Chisora, and will likely win the fight probably on points. If he's particularly negative, they might. Because this is a Frank Warren show, by the way. Chisora is a Frank Warren fighter. If Valine is particularly. Because see, if you come in as the away fighter, especially against someone like Chisora, who is having his, you know, his swan song, his victory lap, you're going to want to really win this fight. You know, Joe Joyce, although he lost, he won rounds because he was active. If Valine goes in there and he just wants to maybe move, have a move around the ring, be a bit negative, pot shot, this, that, and the other. I'm going to say if Chisor is on his victory lap and he's that the house fighter, the home fighter, likelihood is he's going to have to work doubly hard to get some of these rounds. So you never know. But I would favor Otto Valine. I don't think this fight would be as punishing necessarily as a Jarrell Miller fight because Miller will be just on him like white is to rice. I think that, yeah, Valin, the punch output would drop, but he is accurate. You gotta remember that he is accurate. He's not a big puncher. That can sometimes be worse because, you know, you're taking repeated headshots. So that's the fight. The undercard, as I said, Zach Parker, Willie Hutchinson, I'm intrigued. It's in Manchester uh, in February, so I will. That fight there, it's one of the fights where I could either do a watch along if. If, if we get to it, because you never know, pull-outs. You can either get to it or Manchester's only a train ride. So I wouldn't mind going to that fight. I'd like to see Chisora. Have I ever seen Chisora? No, I've never seen... No, I've never seen Chisora fight live. So that might be a might be an experience. Let's wait and see. But let me know your thoughts on this. Chisora versus Otto Valine. Not what we were expecting. Do you think it's a better fight? Do you think now, actually, it's a more winnable fight? And what's the end plan? Like, I mean, Chisora fighting in Africa. Who is he going to fight if he fights in Africa? You not. You would imagine they're not going to do a big show. Is it going to be Chisora go out fighting Hellenius in a, a rematch? Could he fight Dylan White? Would they do something like that? I, I don't know. This whole ending in, in Africa. I mean, that's... I'd be impressed if they do. I'd quite like to see a fight card, a big fight card in Africa. I know they do plenty of shows in Africa. I mean, Hardly any are telling. I think The Zone did one last Saturday. They had an African show. I think it was in South Africa televised or obviously shown on The Zone. But you don't see a lot of big time boxing in Africa, which is a shame, really. You know, it's like, um, as many of you know, I love Formula One. And one of my big bugbears of Formula One is how can you call Formula One the World Championship, the F1 World Championship, when you've a race in every continent bar Africa? South Africa has a great racetrack in Kalami. Just saying. So I'd like to see more. I'd like to see more events in South Africa. Or sorry, not South Africa. Well, yeah, if it is in South Africa, but just Africa in general. So, yeah, look, I mean, I'm, I'm kind of low-key intrigued to see if they can get this fight in Zimbabwe over the line for whatever time next year for Chisora. So even though I think you should bow out, part of me kind of, I would like to see a show in Africa. I'm not going to lie. I'd like to see it. A big show. Obviously, there are shows there, but a big show. Be, be interested. So let me know your thoughts. I hope you enjoyed the video, people. Smash the like button if you could. Hit subscribe, of course, if you haven't already. And until next time, I'll leave it there. Hope you enjoyed it. Number one for news. I break the news like that, don't I? Even though I'm a bit late to the party with this one, but normally.
Your boy's pretty good. I'll talk to you. Peace.